Hey y'all, what's happening? Welcome, welcome to my channel, T Grow Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini, my lovely Gemini. And my beautiful collective, what's happening, you guys? What's going on? I hope everybody's doing well in a good mood. If you're not, let's get in one, okay? Um, keep in mind, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, somebody, nobody, baby. We don't know. Take the energies and resonate. I said take the energies and resonate. Take the energies that resonate and leave the rest. Don't force it to fit. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Baby, it's okay, okay? We'll get you next time. Bits and pieces may resonate. Some of it may resonate. None of it may resonate. All of it may resonate, okay? And time and energy is fluid. So this is an illusion, you guys. Time is an illusion. And it's it, it's past, present, and or future. It's always plain, but there's no such thing as time. So anyway, <clears throat> choir come to the front. One, two, three, oh, T-girl, T-girl, magic and collective. T-girl, 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 magic and collective. T-girl, T-girl, magic and collective. Check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 now, I feel that this, um, it could take be a couples or singles. Take it however it goes, okay? But, um, you could have Leo in your charter. There could be a Leo who's very fiery, passionate. It is a fire sign who's extremely emotional. Oh, my God, over an air sign? Gemini, that's possibly you or a Libra or Aquarius or whoever. Um, yeah, they are enamored. They are in, like... They're, in, they're enamored with this high priestess energy. This high priestess is being cold towards this fire sign, earth sign. I don't know. Fire sign, earth sign. Gemini, you done showed up. Somebody love you, but they mad or they think you're mad because you see something or you see their secrets. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm going off. Hold on, y'all. I got this Brabus Tarot. And I kind of get energy off of the zodiac signs that I read. So, Gemini, there is somebody in their head. Or this could be you, Gemini. Somebody is angry in love. Ooh, angry and in love? What is happening? Somebody's pissed off, though. They could be a Leo or they're just fire. They're just stubborn. Could be Because Leo, Leos can't be stubborn because, you know, they want to do what they want to do. As, and, you know, as they should. But somebody's all in their emotions over an air sign. The air sign could have water in their chart as well, as well as this Leo or whoever, this Gemini, what something. But this is a high priestess here. Gemini, you are the high priestess. Somebody's in their emotions over you because you're being cold to them. Look at you. You got your phone. Your, your phone. Uh, phone your arm, maybe you got them on block. Shit. I was going to say the phone folded, but you got your arms folded and you're cold as ice. This is Pluto. Okay, um, Pluto is not no longer the last planet, but it is a cold planet. It's the farthest away from the sun. You see something about this person. You see that they're far away from the sun or they, I don't know. There's just something about this illusion, this Pisces energy, this high priestess. You're the air sign, Gemini. That's you in the upright. Or you could be a Libra, Aquarius, and or Gemini. And you are very intuitive like all knowing that's why i got high priestess energy and you're being cold withdrawn you're being the queen of ice honey or the king of ice towards whoever this pisces of i'm getting air on air sign i get both of you have either fire in your chart water in your chart and air and all the zodiacs have some degree of element in of each Okay, there's an earth sign as well that's pissed off at you. I don't know why they're the, the Virgo's mad at you. Because they were trying to cause an illusion with the Gemini in love. 
Oh, they were trying to cause some type of, I don't know, because the Mars, I don't know why I'm seeing Greek, the, the, the god of war, something about the god of war, and then somebody is love. So you could be a Libra, and this person could be an Aries. This Libra is being cold towards this Aries, and this person is being, is getting angry. Well, what, the reason is this person's being cold towards whoever this Aries, this Emperor, this Whoever they are is because this person sees that this person has secrets. They know their secrets. This is the high priestess. This whoever this air sign is is a high priestess. Or they have, you know, whoever, they're a high priestess. And this person that they want to go back to that they're in love with, that person sees past. They see the secrets of whoever that they yeah because this person was trying to cause an illusion with this Aquarius and Aquarius possibly trying to cause an illusion. Okay, what was the illusion though? Spirit of love of lovers, other lovers, or something like that. What was the illusion? Yeah, they were trying to cause an illusion. I can't believe they're trying to cause an illusion, honey. Yeah, the hermit. So now you went within. So that's how you became this high priestess is because you went within. And you got downloads from God himself, honey. God elevated you to be a high priestess to know all the hidden secrets. Look at you. Look at you, air sign. That's you. Okay, you can have water in your chart. That's that Pisces energy, that psychic energy. Okay, um, that's the emotions. But somebody is angry in their emotions and some, you are balanced. Somebody's angry that you're balanced in your emotions. Water, you rule water. You could have be a Scorpio, to be honest with you, or have that in your chart, or a Pisces. You are that high priestess with balance. You know how to balance and transmute energy. Somebody's angry. They tried to send the love spell, but the love spell didn't work because you're too cold. You don't have any emotion for whoever's sending you love spells. You're like, mm-mm, you ain't having none of it at all. Look at you. You see things. High priestess you. You're in hermit mode right now. You're not dealing with anything else. Yeah, somebody want to come. Somebody wants you to come out of rest and come together with them. Please come out of rest. Please come out of hermit because you're resting right now. That's what you're doing. You're relaxing. You're chilling. You're tending your garden. Your pinnacles. Your field. Yeah. And somebody wants you to come out and make an offer. And somebody might try to come out and cause a fight just to get you to talk to them. Because like I said, you're not talking. You're cold as ice. you like, oh, hell no. This person's mad because you see their secrets, though. So what is this person's problem, though? Okay, so you see the secrets. What's the secret, spirit? That they work with somebody else or they try to cause an illusion like they love you with the king of cups. Yeah, they try to cause an illusion like they had money or they were stable and they wanted to invest in you. They try to lie and say you was their wish fulfillment when they was you wasn't. They was out... Um, partying and drinking and, 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 and having sex with all these third party energies. That's why they ghosted you. So this person want to come back again. Why? That's confused. I'm confused on why. I mean, if, go run the streets, boy or girl. Okay? Ain't no need. This person could have Scorpio and Aquarius in their chart too. Yeah, because you're the Empress. Exactly. They can't. Nobody does it like you. Nobody doesn't like you, Hoover. Somebody's addicted to you. No, Hoover, nobody doesn't like you. Somebody's addicted to you. It could be a Capricorn, somebody. And, and, then, and they can't, they don't have access to your energy no more because you don't laid it to rest. They can't feel you anymore. Okay? Yeah. Look, you're single. There's no connection here. You're like, goodbye, I'm single, self-sufficient, and abundant, and somebody has been defeated at the end of the day. Yeah, they've been defeated at the end of the day. Because you moved on. You're moving forward. And you look good while doing it. And somebody's been defeated. Because it's emperor. Because of you. So what is the uh so why doesn't this Empress want these hostile energies anymore, spirit? What's going on? Why is the Empress being so cold? Why because you know, of course, I'm, I'm asking them to just clarify. Why is this Empress being so cold towards these energy energies? Because then you look, look, because they had other lovers and they caused a heavy burden because of the lovers. Gemini, that's your energy. Maybe they thought you was a heavy burden because they wanted to have third party energies and thought you would always be there, but you had healed at this point. 
You were not long, you were no longer going to put up with all these third party energies. Something was revealed to you. Maybe they got a tarot reading on you, or I'm um, this Queen of Swords about the seat with the secrets or the se Queen of Swords is a psychic. Mm-hmm. And they know things. And so I don't know. What they know, spirit, what they want this high priestess know that this person or people are trying to cause illusions to the high priestess about this love situation. Talking about that they love. And that's too much of a heavy burden to cause an illusion to you, whoever you are. These people or persons are still in their shadow side, sweetie. So what is what is the obstacle? So somebody, please don't come up in here. Somebody doing black magic or they're doing some magic or divination in the dark. They're getting caught up by the ancestors and stuff because they're doing, mm -mm. Now they're going to be facing legal problems and stuff. They just, oh God, I don't even know what to say. If people want to walk away, let them walk away. Don't try to go against their will, especially high priestess energy. High priestess has the sun covering them. They are the hermit with this Virgo energy. They are the high priestess. There's a Gemini and a Virgo that hooked up, did some bullshit. And that's why they ass is left out in the cold. This Gemini dropping, I don't know who they dropping. Possibly this ain't, I don't know, they angry. They angry. What's this Gemini? What's wrong with this Gemini spirit? Uh, this is uh, not, not a high vibrational Gemini. Who? What's wrong with this Gemini spirit? Or Gemini, somebody's mad. Okay, they're just angry. What's what's wrong with this? What happened? You healed. Somebody's angry that you healed. That's why you're being cold because you have no emotion. You're holding back. Ugh, I can't. You're holding back, High Priestess, because you've healed and you know you're very balanced. You know who's been trying to hold you back. You know if you get with them, they're going to try to hold you back or he or she or they. You know, High Priestess, you know Okay, they want you to turn around. I'm hearing, turn around. Every now I get a little hungry. So somebody hungry for you. Yeah, they hungry for you because they obsessed with you. Okay. Yeah, but you like, hell no. I don't care how obsessed you are. They are obsessed. Some of you related to rest. Okay, they just really trying to... See, that's the thing. They're not even respecting your boundaries at this point. They just think they're going to just bogart in your way. Let me cause illusions and spells because I need to get equal give and take. I need to pay out. I, my life is messed up. Well, it's messed up because of their toxic behavior in low vibrational ways that they refuse to change. Who's going to put up with any of that? Nobody's going to put up with that shit. They think that... Child, this whole, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They are spirit saints. They doing too much right now. Could be a fire sign. Don't have to be a fire sign, but they do want to collaborate and give you some type of equal give and take. Mm -hmm. They're waiting on you to do something, Gemini. But you like, uh-uh. You already seen them. You already went within Miss Hermit or Mr. Hermit. And so you walked away from the situation. Ain't nothing to come back from. You're blocking. You don't want to rebirth with this person. You want to take a leap of faith because you listen to the ancestors that are telling you to remain single and abundant and self-sufficient. You can be a business owner, whatever. You're getting a new beginning. Okay, some of you are waiting on news of a payout. You're getting that news of a payout. Somebody was waiting on the news of a payout, but they ain't getting that news of a payout, honey. They've been blocked in some form or fashion. Because of them doing things in the background, trying to block an earth angel. That's part of karma. You reap what you sow. Okay, the earth angels really don't have to do anything but just remain balanced and transmute that energy. You're already protected, blessed, and highly favored. Okay, this is the energy signature that you carry, which is what's keeping you closely connected to divine. That's your protector. He is your, your fortress and your refuge. Okay, Psalms 91. Period. And you stay and remain balanced. It says, Yah, you promise if you keep your mind on me, if I keep my mind on you, you'd keep me in perfect peace. And that's where your heart and your mind is always on the divine. And that's what's keeping you in balance and perfect peace. No matter what you go through. You've had a transformation and you're going through a transformation. You handle things differently. You're blocking out people to places. You're holding back from a lot of things. Because you're using your intuition. You're using your discernment. That's what the judge is. People say, don't judge me. No, I'm going to use my intuition. Okay, if that's the judge, then God be in you. That's the judge. But I'm not judging you. I'm using my intuition of energy because people lie. 
energy never lies. So I'm using my intuition on that one because you could be calling it cause me some type of illusion. Yep, yep. And I'm going through this rebirth. And their secrets need to be revealed. You are balanced, so high priestess. You go in with it and use your intuition. Some energies are trying to come back and trick you. But you've been uh, advised to diligently remain strong and hold back. Okay? God has something for you. And you're healing right now. Okay? So, yeah. What else, spirit, you want them to know? Because mm, you just got a lot of losing energy. Not you, baby, but the people that you used to be that you've cleared out. Or, and the thing is, they are refusing to be cleared out of your energy. They are. They're low-key addicted to you, obsessed with you in some form or fashion. They watch you all the damn time. They're always looking for you everywhere you go. They're looking at you. I hear your name. You see your face. Memories of what you used to do. This is somebody who you have no more. You get no love from me. You can be my friend. We can't even be friends. I have no love for you at all. That's how you feel, Gemini High Vibe and or Cross Watcher. Okay? That's how this air sign feels. or some, This air sign is mad or somebody is pissed. Because you don't love them no more. You don't want to be with them no more. How dare you? They're all in their emotions. They never thought ever that they... So now this person is your enemy with this Mars here, with this love. This is love and war. Gemini on you. Somebody has declared war upon you because you rejected them and they're pissed off. You're being cold. You're not opening up. You're not opening up. Why are you not opening up? Because they're a liar. That's why. And they're, you're standing in your power. But see, this is an emperor who's a liar as well. You know what I mean? Who's angry that you've made up your mind and you stood up for yourself and you stood in your power and made and cut this person out of your energy while they still remain to try to hold on to you. All you're trying to do is rest. That's all you're trying to do is rest and get peace. But this person is so angry. You could be having a sociopath dialogue. The child, this person is off a little bit, a lot of it. Okay, they are angry that you put it, cut it off with them. When they going, honey, it's not a cut off; it's an ending. This ain't the first time you cut them off, but this is the first time you've ended it, like ex nay. And they are pissed, Gemini. So you got some angry motherfuckers in your energy, mad, upset. Could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini, could be a fire sign, child. Everybody upset. The Gemini then grew up and stepped into their spiritual calling, and you blocking out all the people. So good job, baby. I mean, I mean, that's what it is. You're you're exercising strength. That's what you're doing, and that's what you're put on this earth to do, to to embody God, which is your heavenly Father, to know who you are and how you actually exist in Him. You got to repent. Look, because we ain't perfect now. Okay, we don't just jump. God appoints us. We have to go through endings and deaths in order to have rebirths, okay? So we don't appoint ours to these things. God moves us through. It's God's moving his source, substance in us, through us, and we live and have our being. And re, uh, being. But somebody doesn't realize that, see? And they're angry that you let go while they're holding on. It's to learn lessons and let go and move through and transmute, not to hold on. Waiting for false twin flames to appear. We can't move and grow if we're holding on to the unknown. Let go and let God. God is your true emperor to be real with you in 100. You're supposed to block any and every one except for, you, except for your emperor, which is God. And if he's your physical emperor, ooh, spirit say end. Because, oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. God said he a jealous Elohim. He is not trying to have, oh, he will end. Ooh. And that's why, because God is jealous. This person, God saw this person mistreat you, what they were saying about you. And so God ended it. And God had to intervene and step in and put this to rest because you would have never put this to rest. God said, I am the only Elohim. I am your only, oh, I heard that father. And he's the only one that really can balance your life out and give you justice. Just put him first and everything else will fall into place because of the spouse that you get. He's going to put God first too. Both of y'all going to be cooking God. Both of y'all probably, it's so deep that you both will sacrifice each other for the most high. Not that God would have you do that, but that's just how deep of love that you both have 
for God is both of you will end it, the relationship, just to look to God, period. And so for that, God will bless you with another lover because you went within and learned a lesson and ended out cycles. You're no longer codependent, but you are dependent on God always. And for that, God is going to balance out your life and give you justice. Okay, Gemini High, right cross watcher? And somebody else, well, all they're going to be able to do is look back in the background watching how God moves in your life and bless you with all these, these effervescent, effervescent, unending, abundant blessings while they remain heartbroken, while they have to watch you receive this two of cups, receive this happiness. And that is the truth because the Ace of Swords is right here. They was an illusion that they could even think they can come back. No, you can't come back, ma'am or sir. And they mad about that too. They, they've been enlightened that they are not allowed to come back. So anyway, Gemini, hi, my cross watcher. That's been your reading. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.